3, 2, 1, action. Hey guys, Tor from CC here. I'm at Gitcom and I have the pleasure and the fortune to actually have Martin Miller here. I didn't even know you were coming to begin with. And I oh yeah. And I, I saw your name on the list a couple of days ago and I said to Toby, who's doing the camera, yeah, I thought, we need to come out this guy. Yeah, I jumped out of the cake last minute, yeah. so here I am. <laughs> no, it's a <laughs> great speaker. Pleasure to have you here. Um, and it's, I'm really honored that you want to do a talk with oh, Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm excited. This, this is going to be cool. So you grabbed the flashback. Mm -hmm. um, do you have some kind of ideas of what you want to achieve? What are you yeah. usually using? Delay for? Yeah, like uh, if I don't use a standard delay, my, my when I kind of get a bit more experimental, I usually use a lot of modulated delays, especially yeah. on clean tones, yeah. to get some ambient shimmer, yeah. that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, a nice blanket. So exactly, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really ultra nice chorus to, to really get me going. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Yeah. So um, let's see if we can dial something in that you like. Sweet. My standard delay time for pretty much anything is two hundred fifty five hundred. Okay, so yeah, left so you say you left and right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we would do Some yeah. the left and right, so you get you don't get you don't miss out half the repeats. Exactly, so it adjusts by itself. Yeah, yeah that's and then if you if uh, there's a sensor on the stereo input and output, so if you plug something in there, it's already so, going to yeah. split the two, so you go. Cool. So as soon as I plug it like into my audio interface, it'll go. Yeah, and if you keep it on your pedal board and you go mono, it's still going to give you the same repeats. Does this take this takes uh, instrument and line signals? Yeah, it's very cool. So it's cool for like. Uh, Reamping kind of re You can totally do that. Yeah, yeah, you can totally do that. Okay, so that means that we actually have the. Um, we have the. Um, what do you call it? We have the core delay sound down, so it's more a matter of kind of messing about with the modulation a little bit. Yes, exactly. Yeah. How to make it stand out. Let's see. Typically, when you do this, do you use a chorusy kind of thing or yeah. a vibrato okay. type of thing? Actually, yeah, that's a good, that's a nice idea. I never tried the vibrato. Always has always been a chorus. Yeah. So the vibrato would add a uh, ever so slight pitch. It's uh, actually there's variation. vibrato, yeah, but chorus actually does the same thing. The main difference is, let's see if I can explain this. So <laughs> to a layman. Yeah. <laughs> so. In a regular chorus, we don't talk about you know what's happened. Now it's only on the delay repeat, but just on a regular chorus, what you do is you take your dry guitar signal and you make a copy of it, and then you modulate that. Yeah. So one is so it's a phase thing going on. It's not phase; it's actually okay. pitch. So okay. it is pitch. So okay. it really is vibrato. The only difference between vibrato and chorus is the fact that you mix in dry signal. Exactly. So it's a parallel. A parallel exactly. vibrato. Yeah, it is. Will. So yeah. you have you have two things going on, a dry one gotcha. and yeah. and it's the difference between the two that creates the tension. Yeah. yeah Whereas yeah, yeah. vibrato. So ever so slightly out of tune. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. So right now it's actually the one that's on right now is it's a tri chorus, so mm -hmm. it's three choruses oh, running nice. at the same time. Yeah. But I turned the uh, I turned the mix all the way up, which really means that it's actually a tri vibrato right now. Mm -hmm. So if I back down the mix, you'll be able to hear the difference between it being a chorus and a and a vibrato. Uh huh. Oh, that's nice. You get a little bit of more of that shimmery thing when it's chorus. So then we can s start messing a little bit with the um, with the speed and the depth. Speed of the modulation. Yeah. yeah. So do you generally like like a slower one or a faster one? It's got to be a bit slower, otherwise it sounds a bit like a chipmunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but if it's too slow, the effect gets kind of lost. Yeah. So we got to find the sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah, 
like, can I kind of hear like an, a drastic difference so I know I know what yeah. to look for? Okay, so now I'm like two extremes. Yeah, now I'm turning up the. I'll turn up the speed now. It's gonna get get way out of tune, but you'll be able to yeah, hear yeah, yeah. the speed. Yeah, obviously that's too much. Yeah. Okay, let's back it down and I'll just say stop. Yeah, that's that's nice. A little bit less. A little yeah. bit less. A little bit less. Yeah, that should be it. So, how about in terms of the depth? Yeah, we can, I think we can do it with a bit more. A little I, bit I would like this effect to be like, hey, I, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm an effect. Yeah. Just, yeah. just before it goes out of tune exactly, is, the, exactly. is the goal. Okay, cool. Imagine that being in stereo, it must yeah, it's like, like kick your ass, yeah. So, another thing we can do is, um, how can I explain this? So, right now we have three extra, we have your dry guitar signal and then we have three extra lines of okay, guitar running. Yeah. And they come in at different timings compared to the you know, compared to the yeah, original yeah, yeah. signal. And if we move that around, we have different phasing things happening. So oh, wow. changing it one way will make it a little darker mm -hmm. um, and, I don't know, more vintage sounding, and moving okay. in another direction will make it more sh pristine and shimmery. Let's try to go into the bright direction and yeah. maybe come up with something else for that's a bit more on the dark side. Guitar we do the more ambient thing. Yeah. Just, just to know yeah. what I'm listening for. Okay, yeah. So, and the thing is, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of luck with this because it's free at the same time, and if you hit just so the right combination, so there's different things happening at different times. Yeah, basically. because they're basically interweaving. But I'll just can you just lengthen the delay so I can hear so I can hear that? Yeah. So. They get when when I back up the delay times uh -huh. and make them longer, they get darker. So, you know when you have a flanger mm -hmm. and it goes from like yeah, when it goes right up to the top, that's when there's a very short delay time between the dry end and the wet signal, mm -hmm. and when it goes to the darkest spot, right, or the lowest, but like the that's when there's a long, you know, a long difference between the, yeah, yeah, the dry yeah. and the wet. So. In general, when you back it that way, the chorus will get darker, and when you turn it that okay, way, right. the chorus will get brighter. Now, for this one, we got to be on the bright side, yeah. I think. Yeah. That's, it. that's nice. Yeah, that's sweet. I'm thinking of p about playing one of my intros. So like Really really makes that yeah, intro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, very okay, nice. let's store that. So there's one thing left to do, and that is so. Um, so 
do you ever change the delay time, or is it like strictly 250? I, I would that, that's never why I go for 250 because that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. I, I, I use it more like a reverb. Yeah. So I never try to lock it in with a beat, pretty no. much, unless it's like an extreme thing, yeah. like it's, if it's a multi-tap thing or a, yeah, like a U2 like type yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. That that's the only case where yeah. I do that. Okay. So for this one, you would actually just have it at 250. Yeah. So that's that's like the always on yeah. type of thing for when you have that kind of sound. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that instead of having the delay time on the knob, you know, then you'd have to kind of go, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we can actually, we can disable, we can turn that knob into something else or just disable nice, it so that yeah. you know that when you choose your preset like, or your tone print, like it's the just speed, like turning yeah. on a Leslie or yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, so you can yeah. control either that or the mix of the modulation. So you have that would be actually be sweet. So you could, within one preset, you could go from just a regular yeah. delay to like to, to crazy, more than get in control the amount of crazy. Because that way you don't have to worry about whether you hit 250 exactly. You yeah. know yeah, that yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. there that, every That makes time. absolute sense. So yeah, for me, I would definitely be the guy who always leaves it at 250. Cool. So I'm going to reassign that. Let's try to do the mix first, and then we can always change okay. it. If you okay, now I've done it so that when you set it at 12 o'clock, oh, sorry, not that one, this one. So when you set the delay time at 12 o'clock, now it's controlling the mix. And if I set at 12 o'clock, it's the sound that you dialed in just now. Sweet, yeah. And then if I... I can go higher than that and lower than yeah, that. Yeah, if I back it down, nice. there's no... Yeah, 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 that's it. That's so disappointing now. Yeah. After, after, <laughs> yeah, right. after you heard all the chorus <laughs> uh, going on. It's like, what the hell? And then you can turn yeah, yeah. it off from there. You go all Michael Endo on you. That's why I'm just noodling away, sorry. Because <laughs> it feels good. good to play. It's just yeah. very easy. It's got a nice like touch. It's it's really cool. All right, so that means that you know the tone print is is more or less done. There's one thing Sweet. I would like to show you, and you can consider whether you would ever consider okay. using that. Um, so we made this weird foot switch mm -hmm. that on top of working like a regular foot switch, it's also an expression Yeah, controller. yeah, I yeah. saw that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You, have the, uh, you have the option of so assigning... Put another parameter on that? Yeah, if you want to, uh, and we can also just disable it if you don't think you'll ever step on that thing. Would be cool if... Is, is, is that possible to like... If you step on it, you can hold the delay out longer? Yeah. Like infinitely longer or just a little longer? Just or? yeah, to create a massive pet, just yeah. for let's say one chord that you're playing and yeah. then go back to Yeah. To you can try it the way it is now because it's actually okay. set up so that I Sweet. say let, let me check it. <laughs> or maybe it's not let's, let me check it just a second. Because we started. No, it doesn't. That, I'll do that real quickly. So I gotta be careful with my foot now. Yeah, because right now it's there. Oh, it's cool. Is it working already? 
just a second. Almost there. Exaggerated just a hair more. Oh, the, uh, the, the feedback. Yeah. Also, there's another thing I noticed right now because we lost a lot of them. Let's see here. Oh. Is heading trolling us? Yeah. Have you guys heard? I just got an email that TC released a new pedal. Oh my it's god. It's like a harmonizer kind of thing. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah. I'm sure they don't know about this. I got two emails about this. Wow, two? Yeah. Oh. They're bugging the shit out of you every time they release something. Those people are so annoying. I would never have faith in no, those people. No. And really, yeah. play your own freaking harmonizer, okay? Very cool for this song because this song starts out like this. So I can press the switch. Oh yeah, and you can get these. And then it goes. I turn it off yeah. and yeah. yeah. Actually, in this case, I would probably tempo match it too. Oh. Uh, is that is that still an option to to, to like tap tempo it? Uh, you can we can actually you can hook up a tap tempo hey. foot switch to it. Yeah, yeah. Because in this case, if I were to do Sorry. that's like the only case if I were to do strumming. Yeah, you want to, yeah. Then I want it to be locked. Yeah, up. yeah. Do you know? Would you use it? Is that a specific tempo? Uh, that is like 120, but I, I'm not a robot. So, ah, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you would. Yeah, just, so in that case, you'd hook yeah, up. Yeah, it's probably tempo. Tap, yeah. tap tempo yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's Sweet. a jump print. Yeah. Cool. So, if you're happy with it, then pretty much all we need is a name. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should point out the fact that you can switch between the, the chords and the single note playing yeah. in it. Yeah. Um, you have any idea? Okay. Oh, I'm bad at this. That's why I uh, get <laughs> everybody else to <laughs> do it. Wow, man. Names, dude. Yeah. It took me like. Healthy year to find a name for my album. Oh. <laughs> so we don't have that much time no, to understand. No. And um, I mean, it doesn't have to be a fancy name. It could yeah, just yeah, be yeah, delay. Yeah. Would you or use it for a song? I use it for a song called An End in Itself. Did you record that? An End in Itself? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 